So I agree with your desire and your intent. And I think developing a video, um, uh, uh, you know, telling the story of the homeless, I I think it's, you know, you're on the right side of God here. This is what we should be doing. But please don't think that, you know, at, at the end of the production of this video and showing it, that you're going to change the hearts and minds of people who live in Prince place. And certainly not the elected leaders. So I, so that's why I asked you, uh, why are you doing this? Who are you doing it with? I don't think you're going to achieve the outcome that you, that you, that you plan to. What I see personally is them dying here in the woods. That's my greatest fear for them. Because I know for me personally, I would like all of them um, to see them out of these woods where they can stand up on their own and not have the stigma of being homeless uh, uh, constantly up on them. And they're like, what? What are you doing? What are you talking about homeless in Dale City? Yeah, that's the and, they're like, yeah, well, right over behind Kmart, and they're behind Boston Chicken, and they're behind Staples. It's like it's been a big secret yeah. that we have this many homeless it's in Prince William County. The homeless is not going away. And now we're getting homeless from D.C. that they're closing mm -hmm. their shelters. They're moving into our woods because they can survive out here. Sure. Um, so that is our goal to do something like that to see if to just to show the county it's possible do you ladies have something formal documented like the structure of the homeless you know something formal that explains this to our community where they can put their put on their hands everything that you are saying i work right here at the home depot so um, I grew up with a couple of people that used to be around here, so I was like, I'll move right here and have the greatest commute that any American could ever have on my own plot of land where I can do whatever the fuck I want and be whoever the fuck I am. It's like moving in with yourself because you got so much space to branch out. You don't know who the fuck you are until you're really allowed to be who you are. So we, become, we become like family out here. But I can tell you there are some other campsites where they live in turmoil over that motherfucker. Consistent violence and shit. I, I go to work and you pass homeless people by, you think none of them or all of them gotta be raging alcoholics or all of them. I'm fucking not. I'm not. You know what I'm saying? What did you think the elimination of the middle class was gonna look like? Huh? Yeah, because if we don't pull together, we're not gonna go nowhere. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? We're not gonna get nowhere. You can't do anything by yourself. That's right. This is the campsite. Oh. Hello? Oh yeah? Okay. Go ahead, honey, do what you need to do. That's the inside of my camp. With propane. How much does propane cost? Um, for that size tank? Yeah. Uh, you can go to Walmart and get it for $17.95. How long does it last you for? Um, it, according to how you use it. Right. Mm-hmm. So it could last you anywhere from a month to... No, it don't last you no month. Okay. Um, two weeks at the most because by being cold now you use the heat with it, mm -hmm. you cook with it, and you warm water to take a bath with it. And where do you usually take a bath? Inside your tent. Right. You, okay. You have a wash pan, mm -hmm. and you get your washcloth and some soap and wash your body. You got to make the best of it. Because you're homeless, you can't live like you're homeless. You can't dress like you're homeless. You have to dress like a normal person that's coming from a house. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. My okay. name is Rosie. Hi, I'm Laura. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm looking. I'm doing well. I'm looking for a white guy named Andrew. Andrew? Would have come here last night. Do you know him? Andrew? Andrew? No. Yeah. Okay. I know his dad kicked him out of his house and the police brought him over here last night. Oh, goodness. Night. He's been here before. So you don't know who he is. Mm -mm. Oh, 
okay. No, but if I happen to come across him, I'll let him know okay. that you are looking for Laura. him. Yeah. Laura. Yeah, thank you. I sure so, will. Should I keep asking around in here? Do you think No, else this is help? this is a family campsite here, so oh, we'll one family. <laughs> yeah. Are there some others around? Oh yeah, there's plenty of camps around. Right around here. You might want to try behind Staples. Okay. He could be on that side somewhere. But I know he stayed back here before. Uh huh. Um, but yeah. I haven't seen him. Okay. People say we live free out here, but it's not true. We do not live free out here. I run the outreach here. Hey, what's up, Jay? The Bell City Civic Association. Johnny right, is in a position to get out bit. of the woods now. He's ready to leave, but he won't leave because he knows the security too. for this camp will crash. We have single women back here. Hey, I'll let he let offers road. protection. I've been here almost by um, seven years. And I take care of everybody out here. And it's up to me to make sure Everybody out here got everything they got, they need, and protected. Hey, I'll be right back. You know, I got tips for them to stay in. You know, I try to make sure everything is fine. His name was Shaku, down in my front yard. So when he died, I built this here for him. So he would always be with my remembrance in my life. But this is, this is mine. I built this for him. 1,000 watt vote. I run everything out here. So where do you sleep? Oh, yeah, I got a house. Okay. Cool. I build that. Being homeless is no fun. It's never fun being homeless. And I myself don't have a tent. I myself, I live out of a dumpster. You understand? So that's it. It's hard when uh, you don't have uh, meet the criteria of society in order to get certain things. It's not that I don't want to work, or it's not that I can't work. Either it's I can't get a job, or they don't want to give me a job. My needs is not never met, because every time I go to them for something, I can't get it. You understand? I ain't nothing good happening to me out here. It's nothing that, 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 that's been done. And every time I ask a question, it's like people's trying to get me to run around or something. It's a whole lot of stuff that I can tell you. But these people will be trying to kill me out the woods. <laughs> a whole lot of stuff I can be telling you about how crooked these people will down. I shouldn't have to keep on going through problems just to get something that's so simple. The system don't work like that. That's how you trying to make it work in order to fit to get around the things that you do. Okay, my name is Jamie Franklin and I'm homeless. I've been homeless for four years. Um, four years ago, I was diagnosed with uh, colon cancer. But they're not doing anything. Right. I mean, I'm the homeless, no good person, right? No one wants to hear me, but I have proof. They pick and choose who they want to help. They're open so that the homeless can get warm. But during those times, we can't get back in if we, if we leave. And they said, well, you must not be too cold if you left. Even the 30 minutes to eat, in 15 minutes for a shower. Someone brought in frozen burritos one day. So they, they put that kind of stuff behind the desk and everybody's allowed one, which is great. After that, David was like one of the last people. He says, what do you want me to put them in the freezer? She says, oh no, I'm taking the rest home. That's not there for you, it's for us. I'm not gonna be afraid of you. Well, I got nothing to lose no more, nothing. There's some people that, you know, really do want it. And they're the ones that give up because, you know, they were chosen to not be helped. This is the beginning of a story that everyone needs to know. They pick and choose who they want to help. They have lied and denied me of that help. And on top, being harassed and causing me more problems because I'm the so-called no good homeless person. But I'm literally in fear 
of how far they would go to cover up their lack of responsibility to help me and their lies and harassment to harm me, as if I'm not suffering enough. 